Hello and welcome, my name is Skitcraft, and this is Pokemon TCG Pocket. Have you seen any of these cards, by chance, in any of your battles? I assume you have, and how disgustingly meta these are. This is Pikachu EX. Pikachu EX has a very destructive combination uh, that you probably have seen by now. I'm going to show you a deck to combat that. This has worked around 60% of the time um, for wins, which is a lot higher than my other decks. So what you have to do is you have to obviously find its weakness, which is uh, the fighting or rock or whatever you want to call it, um, the fighting type. And I'll go to my decks now and I'll show the breakdown of that. I called it Ancient Strength. So this is the deck overall, and I'm going to kind of show you how it plays as well. So you have the matchup evolution series you have match up match oak and my champ and i have my ex here uh for their mega punch which does 120 with 180 health so he's he's kind of a brute um i also have Mankey and primate an important thing to keep in this deck is the promo which actually is not available at the release of this video so if you don't have that and trading is available you let me know and i'll give you my friend tag and we can trade him because i have 11. so this is reckless charge Whenever they use it, they do 30 damage to the enemy, but 10 damage to themselves. And you're going to see how that's important with the next card. Once you have 10 damage to yourself, and you evolve them into Primate, if this Pokemon has damage on it, it does 60 more damage. That's 100 damage. That's very, very um, durable. Um, actually, a little squishy at 90, but the damage that it does to a Pikachu will knock it out in one hit. Pikachu is 120 health, um, and this does 100 damage plus their weakness of 20. It won't knock out Zapdos, but it will get a Pikachu EX out of the game. Um, another one I like to do is uh, the Dome Fossils and the Old Amber. Those are kind of slept on, uh, unfortunately. Um, Dome Fossils turn into Kabuto. Kabuto is kind of a heavier, second tier. Uh, with 90 health and 1 energy to do 40 damage. And then Kabuto evolves into Kabutops, which has a, another 1 energy, so you can start building on your other Pokemon once you put 1 energy on this. So it's amazing already. The only 1 energy, it does 50 damage. And any damage it does to the active Pokemon, it immediately heals. Which is amazing, because if you have a, a Giovanni, and it does 20 extra damage because of weakness, then that Pokemon will heal 80 health in one turn, which will almost completely heal itself from the Circle Circuit, uh, which is the, the Pokemon move that Pikachu often uses once the back line is filled with electric Pokemon. So that'll keep it alive for one extra turn, which is very, very needed. Um, also, I have the Old Amber, who evolve into Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is Kind of a hat trick, doesn't always work, but when it does, you usually will win. So, Aerodactyl needs two energy colorless, which is why I have them in here. Uh, the only issue is its weakness is electric, which is why I'm saying it's kind of a hat trick. You kind of have to get it out there early, or strategically play it. Um, two energy, flip a coin if heads, they take their active Pokemon and throw it in their deck. So you can do that with their Pikachu or their Zapdos. And that will change the game dramatically, especially if it's a Pikachu, and they don't have 30 more in their hand. That also work on Raichu, which seems to be a common additive to that deck. And of course, you're going to want the two Pokeballs, uh, two Professor's Research, two Giovanni's, and a Sabrina. I found that to be the best. Um, you can also substitute one of the Pokeballs, because if you look at this deck, it's very strategically placed. When you start your hand, you have to have one basic Pokemon in it. So they're always going to give you either a Machop or Mankey. And if you have two Pokeballs, then one of those is probably going to get wasted. Um, but it's nice to have it early on to get it in your hand as well to get the Machop out. There have been shuffles where my first hand has been Machop, Machoke, and Machamp with a Mankey and like a, a Professor's Research. Completely amazing. Uh, so I seriously recommend this deck. Obviously the energy would be uh, the Fighting Energy. Um, and then I put Kabutops as my highlight card because he's amazing and also kind of the focus. So this is my 
recommendation on to how to combat um, uh, the Pikachu deck. And I'm going to show you a solo one real quick, just so I'm not like timed on my, so I can like describe things. Uh, this does win sometimes in um, the versus with like actual people, because it's hard to fight against, especially if I'm able to heal myself. So I got heads. Something that you should always keep in mind is if you flip heads, you're evolving first. If you flip tails, you're applying energy first. So see, I got my Mankey. And what's amazing is I already have my Primate right in there. I'm gonna start the battle. Chalker, Zapdos. Unintended, I guess. We got a Magnemite. Not something typically you usually see in the other decks. You usually see like a, um, a Blitzel and a Zebstrika. So now I've just got a Pokeball, which means now I can start building on my um, Machop evolution chain. So I'm gonna throw that out. It's unfortunate because now my other Pokeball is useless, but at least I have it right now. I'm gonna throw my Dome Fossil because I have all of the evolutions for it right in my hand. I'm gonna end my turn. So now we're actually playing. That was like my first turn and this is now... So he gets first energy because he was uh, the second player. We get cards always. This play is relatively the same. Okay, so now he has damage on him. So this creates an odd thing because if I put energy on him and attack, then he's going to be put at 20 because he does 10 to himself and then Peck is going to kill him. I'm actually not going to attack this round. I'll put Kabuto out there. And I'll just throw my Pokeball out, just waste it. You can only have 10 cards in your hand, so I'll just clean it up. And I'm actually not going to attack him. It's all about playing that long game. I want him to be damaged, but not dead. And there's the Pikachu. Look at that, all of its glory. It's a very cool card, but it's super easy to get, which is super unfortunate. Now he has 10 health, and he's very damaged. But now have Primate, and now I have my double energy. He probably, he probably will make this next turn because they're going to apply energy to Pikachu and then he's going to have do 90 damage, um, but at least it's going to bring Zapdos uh, really down. I'm going to evolve my Kabutops, and might as well use a Giovanni. And that'll bring that Pokemon down to 20 health, which is considerable. Especially if they have to trade them in, then any of these Pokemon will be able to knock it out. Of course, an X speed, and all of this is what you've probably seen in your Pokemon battles. All the free movement and throwing it around and all the energy. Yeah, Primate's dead, so now I'm going to start doing uh, Kabutops. Because, obviously, I'm not going to throw Machop out there. And I don't even need to preload him, because all he needs is one. So on my turn... Eh, I'm throwing another one out there. So now, I heal with every hit. So he can't knock me out in one hit, which is awesome. And I do 70 damage for Whack, which means two turns and he's done. But he can't kill me in two turns. So Kabutops, I feel, is like Pikachu's enemy. Because on a one-on-one -on -one fight... Can't win. Got old Amber. I'll just throw that out. Start loading Machop. And then I'm gonna leech life again. And that's gonna give me, even though he only has uh, 50 health, it's gonna give me 70 HP because it's how much damage I did on the active Pokemon. So that was play of the game right there. Now this, this might not be good because if it has Lieutenant Surge, then he's probably gonna kill this one off. Yep. Hmm. Not good. And things like this happen often. You're gonna see Raichu in people's decks. So right now I'm hoping for a Machoke. Because if not, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win this. So I, hmm. Let's see if they put out 
does it have those? Probably not. But that's okay. Throw out a Pikachu. Um. Yeah, I do that. It happens. I'll be real with you, I'm not gonna only show victories. So it was the Raichu that really came in clutch and knocked out the Kabutops, but if the Kabutops would have survived, that would have been a landslide victory. Let's kind of show it again. Uh-oh. We'll see if it's able to do anything. But we did find the elusive Pikachu deck right before, or right after my phone disconnected, so. We do have a professor's research, which isn't bad. So hopefully we're able to get something. Oh my gosh, chill. His name is Polyrath, but he's running Pikachus. Ugh. Have you no shame? Good. Not good. Luckily it does 40 damage. Which knocks down a little bit. Heal him up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, maybe a match choke? Be cool. Primate. Didn't need it. Um, we're gonna go cards. I feel like that's kind of our best bet right now. Nope. Kinda want him to keep that. So that's unfortunate. Um, well, we'll make them nice and soft for Kabu Tops. But luckily, next turn, if they keep that Pikachu out and kill my matchup, then that Pikachu is dead next turn. This little thing. The picture. Can you watch it in the game? No, you can't. Ain't too much to think about. Unless they have a Sabrina, then they can completely mess up my entire game. But they don't. Thank God. Oh my God, he lived. And we got a Machoke. Oh, this changes everything. Absolutely. Oh, I'm just gonna kill... You with... Uh, we have Sabrina and a Giovanni. We're gonna do 70, so that's gonna kill him, so we don't need to use one of those. That's gonna knock out that Pikachu. Absolutely. In most games, they would have done 90, killed that, and I would yeah! How to make Pikachu players run away in fear. Thank you, Matchop. Perfection. Yeah. And, uh, if that's not proof, you know, thanks. Thanks for running away. That's not a Polyrath, but sure. So neither was your deck. That's okay. So that's pretty amazing, but that just goes to show that if you get the right setup, this deck is actually really good against the Pikachu deck, which is the goal, because you want to beat the metas. I will say I tried using this against a lot of Mewtwo decks. It's tough. It is really tough uh, because the Metchamp, their weakness is Psychic. However, the Kabutops Evolution Chain, their weakness is Leaf, so that helps a little bit. But all of the Pokemon in this chain, except for Mechamp, will die instantly with that side drive. So it's just so hard to combat that one. But I'll hopefully come up with a deck that is able to do that. But, um, let me just show you super fast. If you want to use this, you 
you can call it Skitcraft's Ancient Strength, which won't fit because it's 22 characters. But I got Machop, Promo Mankey, remember that. Primate, Machoke, two Kabutos, two Kabutops, Machamp EX, Narodactyl, two Pokeballs, two Dome Fossils, an Old Amber, two Professor's Research, two Giovanni's, and a Sabrina. And like I said, I might actually get rid of that uh, Pokeball. Something that probably would have helped us was a potion. That might have been... We go through Lag City here. A Pokedex would also be good for planning purposes. Or an X speed if you want to get Machop out earlier. So there's a bunch of different ways to play this. You know, formulate your own. Uh, make it yours. I think I might actually do a... I think I might should do a potion for that, that Mankey. Because Mankey can get, can get clapped pretty quick if he doesn't have enough health and he's doing too much damage to himself. So I'm going to throw that. That's my Ancient Strength deck. Um, I have a couple more that I'd like to show you. Yes, I do have a Pikachu one. And yes, I do have Hypnotic Death, which is uh, the typical Mewtwo with a Drowsy. So, some other decks I'd like to show you guys in this mini series. Without further ado, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, good luck on all your polls, and I'll see you next video. Bye.